whose women bronies and Pegasus are talk is Yankee Komodis out there. It's the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys are rest and on his channel. As always, follow me on Twitter and, of course, check me out on Vidme. Pretty much have the same exact um, channels as before. It's the exact same videos as before. But it's SS Anime um, PS, excuse me, PS4 Gamer Fan. If any people want to check it out. And, unfortunately, ripped my um, older glass because I ripped it in half. But uh, I got these two brand new pairs of glasses because, you know, I'm blind. That's freaking bad. So, F me. <laughs> so, other than that, yeah. Links in the description box down below. I got a, I'm not going to tell you the brand place where I got it from because, you know, it's somewhere over here in the state of Nevada. You guys can find out yourself. If you really want to go, go for it in Google Place. I think people are almost as blind as bad as my ass is. I'm probably going to be fucking paralegally blind too when I hit 30, 35, 40, which is right around the corner for me. But um, links to description box down below. Before we get into this article real quick, I just wanted to say I am going to be covering this thing. I know I said I wasn't going to do Sun and Moon stuff, but they're just pretty much in the words. A shout out to the American Game for Switzerland, by the way. Um, he said um, they fluffed it up. They were pretty much um, <laughs> kind of, the interviews were kind of kissing their ass a little bit. And I didn't like that stuff. So I'll probably read half of the second to last paragraph of it in a separate video for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon news. That's not really even news. It's just a review because they don't do any spoilers or anything like that, any of the sorts. So many people want to check that out on your own. You're fine to do that. I'm only going to read half of this article. It's a very hard thing. Shout out to Stone Fox Media. I haven't given them a shout out in like eight, nine months. I think it's been like March or April the last time I read any articles from that dude. But this one comes from DualShockers.com. We talked about it in this video. I'll leave the link to this video in the description box. Provide it down below. And hopefully I'll have to do two part in this. So let's get into it. And shout out to the brand new person that subscribed. I'm not going to say his name because it's kind of a sort of a private discussion on certain things. I'm not going to get into because it's kind of, um, I'm not going to say negative, but at the same time, it's like, you know, um, has stuff to do. The only thing I'll say, say about it has stuff to do with the S word and not the excrement stuff or whatever when you're taking a crap. But another thing, it's like the opposite of homicide. That's all I'm going to say. Other than that, so it's a 65.7 million PS4 shipped by September 30th. Prediction by March 2018 raised to 79 million. This was from last week, by the way. It's kind of old, but better late than never. I have a real life I got to live. Most people know I I don't do two jobs anymore. I just do one job in my own hotel casino job that I do. And the other one I've been doing trade school for the past like month and a half. And it's been wearing me the hell down so much. But the people are friendly as heck. I love the real cool professors and teachers and stuff that they teach you all about these extra things about computers I've never even known about in a billion years. I know stuff about like, you know, making videos and editing and all that stuff like that, but I never really got deep into the nitty gritty part of it. And even though I had an associate's degree in um, computer engineering community college, I never got to my bachelor's degree, which sucked. But this isn't about video. This video ain't about me. It's about the article about Sony, PS4. Probably going to be PS5 by the time it's 2018, maybe 2019, 2020, if the world lives that long. So it says, today, Sony Corporation, oh, links down below if you want to read it yourself. Sony's Corporation released its financial results in the second quarter of the physical year of 2017, which relates to a period between July 1st and September 30th. As usual, we get an update on the PS4 shipment. Sony Interactive Entertainment retailers to 4.2 million units during the quarter which brings a total of 67.5 million units sold in the console's lifetime which there's one thing i'm going to be pissed the hell off about they held god of war back i'm a little angry and pissed off about that that sony press conference they had like two weeks ago i decided to watch it on my own since i don't do reaction videos in the channel anymore. i just do article session reviews of video video games occasional anime stuff and unboxings i'm still keeping that on the channel just how I unfortunately had to get rid of MLPFIM. I did it for personal preference for My Little Pony stuff. Um, I'm not going to get into it because it kind of has a little bit to do with religion, but at the same time, has to do stuff with like LGBT stuff too, stuff in the community, which I have nothing against those type of people or anything like that, but I'll probably explain a lot more my Critical Guys Realization Man's channel. I'm a lot more realistic on that side because stuff I like to review stuff that's going on in the gaming market and gaming industry in this channel. That, along with anime stuff, I want to focus a lot more on monthly unboxings, too. Or Pokemon TCG card I do once a month, you know? So, um, I don't really focus a lot on negativity like I do on that channel. Which, I finally got up on November 9th, yesterday. I know November 1st was going to be the first time I did a rant there, but it ended up being yesterday. Because, due to time constraints. Other than that, let's keep it moving. I'm just going to read the second half of this, and after that, I'm done. 
So it said the specific breakdown was also provided in the results of gaming networking services. I'm glad we cleared the yard of that, by the way. Services segment which is basically PlayStation and PlayStation Networks combined. We see an increase across the board for both revenues and operating income thanks to the PS4 software, hardware, and PlayStation Network sales. Oh, another reason I kind of stopped doing just even like the reaction review segments to MOP on fan videos. I saw a lot of them ended up getting a lot of copyright claims because um, the music they were using in the background a lot more. That's why I stopped it in September almost like two months ago. So that's another reason because Hasbro kicked kicking the crap out of my ass about that stuff. That's another main reason I don't do MLP content on there anymore. I felt like it was a matter of time because it lasted for a while, from like 2012 to like mid-2017. Almost six years. So that's a while. So let's keep it moving with this. So um, let's see. We use an increase across... We see, excuse me, we see an increase across the board for both revenue and operation incomes thanks to the PS4 software and hardware of the PlayStation Network. Then it goes on to say sales increased 35.40 for year on year on year, and then it says in parentheses, and a 25% increase on a constant current currency basis to 44.3 billion yen. I don't know, maybe that's more, maybe that's less than Japanese money. I don't know. Not familiar with some currency sometimes. And I think in India they got the rupees. <laughs> um, software includes software sales, including through the network. The impact of the foreign and relations exchange, as well as the PS4 hardware, operation incomes increase of 38.5 billion yen yen. I already read that part. Mentioned above. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Practically offset by an increase in selling general the administrative expenses during the during the current quarter. There are 33.1 billion positive impacts from a foreign exchange foreign exchange rate fluctuations. I think that's how you say that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Operation income includes a favorable adjustment of 5.1 billion yen that's resulted from the recognition and in an international royalties of the current quarter, rather than the first quarter of the fiscal cliff ending year of March 31st, 2018. The adjustment resulted from a discrepancy in the timing of when an in internal royalties are recognized the relevant subsidiaries within the segment. As for Sony as a whole, the <clears throat> figures are in the black. As we also read an explanation for the quarantine performance, the game businesses is an indication, or excuse me, is indicated as a primary factor of a significant all right, significant improvement year and year in both sales and income. All right, and after that, you guys can read the rest of the description box down below. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions. The only thing I'm getting out of this is that number one, um, Sony's marketing revenue. I, as far as their like movie industry, I've talked about it massive amounts of times in their movie side of the industry. Their that that division, of their side of the company is completely separate from their video gaming entertainment industry version of that side. And to get my drink, um, I will say this. See, I only got about like seven minutes left since this is like a trial thing they can only do. But overall thoughts, views, and opinions, my friends. Um, I don't know what's going on. Maybe in the Japanese side of Sony, since that's where a lot of the companies based off of such, such as like a lot of the Tales of Zillia games and Tales of Konisako, Koreachi. I don't know any of those other games that are like Japanese JRPG games. They have a lot more extra success because you know, obviously, because of cultural differences. A lot of people here in the West such as myself as an otaku, you think I would enjoy it, but I'm not really big in a JRPG game. There's way too much puzzle solving crap you got to do into those type of things. I'm not feeling that sort of way. I'm sorry, I got to get real close to the camera and computer because I'm halfway blind as a bat. I have to read it that way. Or I could just use this. It makes it much easier. Other than that, my friends, um, another overall thoughts, views, and opinions I will say about this, I don't know, their physical cliff year is not doing too well. I mean, in 2016, they did really, really effing bad. I mean, they barely had any games except for some of the Tomb Raider series and their big heavy hitters. Even way back in 2013, or I think it was 2014, when GTA V was first released. And then they got a couple other games I'm really, really hyped about freaking getting. I guarantee you that. Even in Detroit Become Human, I was thinking about getting that one. But some of the messages are kind of subliminal. I have a little a couple of issues with that. So I used to be in a, I'm still kind of in a truth there, alternative media community, unity on my Critical Guy Realization Man's channel. So um, other than that, links in the description box down below, annotations on the side. 
And one other thing, um, Sony's probably going to have to make a golden Sony PS5. I don't know, or platinum Sony PS5 if they want to stay relevant in the video game industry. They already did it with that whole Oculus Rift looking thing with Sony PlayStation VR. They use that same type of advancement of technology. Maybe it did really well because I literally just went to Best Buy the other day, one of my roommates, and went to get this keyboard for a certain thing. I'm not going to say the name of it, but um, some of it's kind of illegal pirating. I'm not going to say any of that crap. I'm trying to keep it clean here on YouTube, but I will say this, it works like a charm. I love it. Other than that, that's all I got to say about Sony and um, their marketing revenues. I don't know, so maybe, maybe in the New York Stock Exchange, I'm not really into business and politics and all that stuff and financial gains and money, but maybe they're plummeting. Maybe they're going up, maybe they're going down. Dep depends on the fluctuations, as I said in the article, of how they're going to take care of this problem. I don't know, maybe it's a, a lot more of a bigger issue in Japan than it is in the U.S. Maybe the Sony of Japan is more important than the Sony of the U.S. because it's just like Nintendo of Japan. A lot of their sales and marketing are a lot more important there than they are the United States over here or in Canada, Central America, South America, Mexico, and um, in the UK and the rest of Europe. Maybe they're a little bit less important, but the other places, anything in Japan is pretty much super important. So other than that, that's all I got to say for now is I'm running out of time here. And that's it. Links in the description box down below if you want to read the rest of your own personal time. And I'm out of here. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls, and of course, we'll talk to the Nikki Gamonis out there, and I will see you when I see you guys. Good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time, don't do the reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it collective out there, and until then, next time, guys, peace out, this is goodbye. I'll see you on the next, see you on the flip side, see you on the next um, video vlog, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take it easy, peace out, this is goodbye. I don't say it often, but if you can, like, share, subscribe, and comment, because, and definitely hit the bell notification. I need that more than anything, man. I still love you guys. You guys are amazing as hell. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Take it easy. Goodbye. Stay safe. And a happy early Thanksgiving to every people living here in the United States. Goodbye.